So my state senator, Senator Brian Nieves, I say my state senator because he represents the area where I live out in West County, and I need to tell a funny story about that. He sponsors this 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 bill. This year it's called uh, Senate Bill 613, 613. And uh, it's called the Second Amendment Preservation Act. But understand, that's not really what it is. It is a, a, a bill that just seeks to nullify any federal law ever passed, ever, including into the future, that, that relates to uh, gun regulation. They, the, the Missouri legislature, in an attempt to please those on the furthest right, uh, uh, passed this bill last year. It was vetoed by Governor Nixon, and then ultimately the veto stood because a couple of grown-up Republican senators, Ron Richard and, and, and Tom Dempsey, uh, stood up to block it. But even though they did the right thing last year to make sure that this thing didn't become law, because all it's what you have to understand about this bill is you, you can't nullify federal gun. You, you can't just say, hey, Missouri is basically going to secede from the union and not recognize any sort of federal laws. We're going to have machine guns. We're going to have Uzis. We're going to have whatever. It's Everything's going to be legal in, in Missouri. That's the, the intent of the law. It's never going to become law. This is this is really just a game, and but here's what's interesting about it, is that it's it's really become this great example of what term limits has done to the legislature. So so the Republicans pass this or give initial approval to this bill, Senate Bill 613, in in the Senate the other night, and and one of the things they did was they attached an amendment from uh, St. Louis Democrat Senator Jamila Nasheed, and and it's a a, a fairly straightforward amendment that makes sense in which basically what what Senator Nasheed wants to do is is deal with the the real problem with stolen guns in her community because in St. Louis you know guns get stolen and then they get used in crimes and so it's an amendment that requires that that if your gun gets stolen you report it stolen within 72 hours well the NRA it turns out hates this amendment and so now the NRA that, that is quietly, you know, pushing all of these gun bills is now come out against Brian Nieves' bill. It's hilarious. The guy who pretends to be the toughest, you know, gun nut in the state and, and passes this, gets this bill passed that is ultimately going to be tossed in court anyway— it, the bill's now being opposed by the NRA, and so the rest of the Republican senators are like, wait a minute, we don't want to make the NRA mad. And so now they're just sort of stuck, and they don't know what to do. They, you know, Ultimately, they don't know whether to pass it, whether to start over. What it means is that your legislature, when it should be trying to figure out how to fund the schools and how to deal with the transfer crisis in Normandy, is instead playing these, these, these games with gun bills. And I mentioned games. I mentioned my state senator. I have to tell a story, Kelly. This is okay. a funny story. I have to tell a story about my state senator. So so I live in Wildwood, and, and, and Senator Nieves lives a little bit further west uh, than I live. Not long ago, I'm out uh, for breakfast. Every year, I take my daughter to breakfast. It's sort of a, a, a daddy-daughter daddy breakfast. Daddy-daughter breakfast on her birthday. This year, did it the day after her birthday because it was a Saturday. It was just easier to do it. So I'm at breakfast with my daughter, and Senator Nieves walks in. And, and he's meeting a group of folks elsewhere in the same breakfast restaurant that I'm meeting at. And, and he kind of looks over at me and is like, yeah, Tony Messenger's here. Okay, he's, he's paying attention. So I've got my phone, you know, because I'm one of these addicts, I always have my phone with no. me. So I, even though I'm having breakfast with my daughter and, and, and she's ordering her chocolate chip dinosaur pancakes, we're sitting there and I've got my phone just, you know, in case anybody needs me. All of a sudden, my Twitter starts to light up. I go to Twitter, and Brian Nieves, my state senator, is in another part of the restaurant tweeting about me being out at breakfast. And he tweets, isn't it hypocritical of Tony Messenger to live in a nice place like Wildwood and go to a moderately expensive restaurant for breakfast when all he ever writes about is caring about the poor and caring about about 
poor black children in school in St. Louis? And what's he doing in Wildwood? And what's he doing spending money on breakfast? My state senator actually tweeted this about me at breakfast. Are you kidding me? No, isn't that bizarre? Oh, my Isn't that bizarre? But here's where it gets gets really, really uh, funny. And, and, And this is where... To understand the the sort of gun legislation that he's pushing. So then he goes to Facebook and writes a longer Facebook post. Why is Tony Messenger, who's always writing on the editorial page about caring for the poor, spending money at a breakfast restaurant? Never mind that I'm there with my daughter and that it's just an average little breakfast restaurant. But because apparently he said he actually wrote this on Facebook. I'm supposed to be at the soup kitchen or something. That was that was sort of his his implication. And all of his followers on Facebook they just start weighing in about what a jerk I am for for going to breakfast, for going for going to, to breakfast. breakfast. So if you follow me on Twitter at Tony Mess, whenever you 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 see me make a joke about I feel like a medium to high price breakfast today, it's it's me <laughs> subtweeting <laughs> about about my senator state uh, oh. state senator Brian Evans because uh, he doesn't think I should be allowed to eat breakfast. Unbelievable. So what was your response? Did you respond at all? My you, response was people you? started retweeting, and I just I just said uh, my, I, my my response was my daughter enjoyed her dinosaur chocolate chip pancakes. Very Thank good. you, Senator Nieves. we got to take a break. You're listening to The Big 550, KTRS, Tony Messenger, filling in for McGraw-Millay.